Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrub and Create, and we're working on Alice. Um, let's see. So I'm going to have some inset flaps. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay down these strips. These came from the pattern in solid, and they are half inch wide. Wow, that's a lot of glue. Just came rushing out. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see if I can get this on without making too much of a mess. How did I do? I'm just using my grid to help me visualize. It looks like this needs to be nudged over just a little bit. Got so much glue on my hands. Okay. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, now we're going to install some flaps. So this, we're gonna put the glue away for a minute. I'm gonna try to remember to cap it because yesterday I was having a hard time and it was drying out on me. Okay, so we, so we're gonna start with a five by eight, five by eight. It's gonna get installed on the right hand side and it's gonna come in a half inch. So I'm gonna use my grid to help me with that. I said five and a half, five by eight, five by eight. Score a half inch on the five inch side. Sorry about that, that was a little bit confusing. Actually, turn it sideways. This is much easier to see. There's my half inch. If I can get it to sit still. Here we go. Here we go. Half inch inset. And that's on the right hand side. Now we have a five and a half. This one is five and a half. Score half inch on the five and a half inch side by eight inches tall. and just come in a half inch, which means you're just ever so slightly gonna cover up that half inch strip we put in. There we go. Okay, there we are. Okay, so this is the five inch side, this is the five and a half inch side. Now I've come in one inch from the edge of this flap and I put a reference line. That is where we're going to install this flap. Now this flap is nine, it's a kind of, a, it's an accordion flap. It's nine by eight, nine by eight. You're gonna score it half inch and five inch. Half inch, five inch. You're gonna take the score line here, this hinge, and apply it right here to the one inch mark. There we go. Okay, now that's what the closed position is gonna be. I left tape backing on here, so. There we 
there we go. Okay, so it's gonna open like this. So this is what I'm gonna call an accordion extension to the base flap, okay? Now that we have that done, let's see what's next. Sorry, I'm shuffling, 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 trying to find my flaps. That's a pocket insert. Okay, so on the very top of the accordion flap, we're gonna add a pocket. Sorry, that pocket is five and a half by five. Five and a half by five. Let me double check. Nope, I said that wrong. It's five and a half inches tall by five inches across. Five and a half inches tall by five inches across. So on, place this into your scoreboard. Where's your pocket? And we're just going to make this pocket go flush with the top part of this flap. So corner to corner. There we go. So there's our pocket. The pocket has an insert that is three and a half by seven and a half. Three and a half by seven and a half. Okay, on the inside, right here in the middle piece, we're gonna have two pockets. These pockets are four and three quarters, four and three quarters by two and three quarters. Four and three quarter by two and three quarter. They're gonna get placed right down here. So then when we, this closes, that is what's going to hold everything into the pockets. Okay, so you need two of those. Four and three quarter by two and three quarter. Place it in your scoreboard, four and three quarter. You're going to score it half inch and four and a quarter. Rotate 90 degrees and score a half inch. These are going to go flush with the top and bottom. And just make sure you're clear of your score area. Okay. Yep, so it still lays somewhat flat when you completely open it up. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it around. We're gonna add another pocket. I love this page. I've done something very similar to this before, maybe on a different scale. I can't remember what the pattern was that I used, what paper I used. Eek, that's a little too low. A little too close, I think. Let's see. That's a little tight. I can make it work. It's gonna work. Yeah, okay. Let's burnish everything. Okay, and since we have two pockets, we need two inserts. So these inserts are gonna be three and a half by four and a quarter. Three and a half by four and a quarter. Okay. And then this is the insert for this pocket. Now, this is a simple flap, and I don't have anything on this one. Do I? I have to double check. Yes, I do. Okay, so in the closed position, we're going to put a pocket. This pocket 
is, is that right? That doesn't look right. I did it wrong. So this pocket should be four and a half by nine, four and a half by nine, and I made it four by nine. So I'm gonna remake this pocket real quick and it's gonna go installed like this. And then we have two inserts that go into this pocket. So give me a second and I will remake this pocket to the correct measurement, four and a half by nine. Four and a half by nine. Be right back. Okay, sorry about the interruption. I had the wrong size pocket. So the pocket that we're going to install here is four and a half, four and a half by nine. You're going to lay in the scoreboard nine inches across the top, half inch, eight and a half inch score line. Rotate it 90 degrees and score another half inch. Oops. And this is going to get installed um, toward the outside of the, um, the bottom of the pockets going to the outside of the page. <clears throat> okay. So there's our pocket. Now inside this pocket are going to be these two small inserts. These inserts are three and a half by four and three quarter. Three and a half by four and three quarter. And they are meant to extend just slightly past the top of the pocket, just like that. Let me show you with the... Okay. Now you can just put one long insert in here, um, but I, I just like the way the design came together here with the small pockets here and then also the small pockets here. Um, what I do want to do though is I want to glue, I want to tack down the center here and that'll just keep these inserts from floating across. So I'm going to find the midpoint and just put a dot of glue and, and uh, tack this down and that'll prevent the inserts from moving around on us. Okay, I don't know where my, oh, it's right here looking right at it and I can't see it. Okay, so, wow, this is one dirty roller. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I need to come down here. So there's my midpoint. So I'm just gonna lift that ever so lightly and put a dot of glue. Hold it for a second. It doesn't need to go all the way down. As long as there's a tack point, It'll keep these pieces from sliding up and down. Okay. Oops, I didn't let it dry enough. Okay, there it is. Okay, and that closes like that. Now that we have one more digging through my papers. Do we have another pocket somewhere? <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. We have one. This is the album of pockets. We have one more pocket and it's going to go right here. Now this pocket, maybe that's where the, um, that's where the four by nine goes. That's where it goes. That's where the four by nine goes. It goes right here. And which way do I want it? Actually, it goes this way. So the end of the pocket's gonna go right here to the edge of the base flap. Remember, this is our accordion flap. Here's our base flap. So we're gonna install it just like so. So I didn't mismark it. I just missed having an extra pocket, that's all. There's a lot. This is a, this is a very busy album. I mean, there's a lot of interactive components and a ton of pockets and inserts which is kind of fun. <clears throat> okay. I'm just gonna put it, the bottom of the pocket flush to the edge here. OK, 
okay and we have a pocket that means we have to have an insert here's the pocket insert that goes in this pocket and it is four and a half by seven and a half four and a half by seven and a half and it goes right in here okay and so it, it's a little bit shallower than the pocket itself okay now this closes this closes this closes okay so we're going to need a couple of magnets here and i think a magnet here so there's one more piece and i'm hemming and hawing about installing it and i'm going to show you on my mock-up so there's the right base it goes like this like this this opens then there's this piece right here which I do not have installed yet. Um, I did cut it, but I haven't installed it yet. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I should. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So this piece is four and a half by seven and a half, four and a half by seven and a half. I'm gonna close up my mock-up and it's gonna go like this. And then when it's closed, it's gonna close. So this mat is gonna get installed on this extension here. Now, it's only going to cover half of it, so it's going to come up a half inch. Um, and then that should give us, is that right? Maybe I need to make it smaller. It might need to be four by seven. Because I just tested it and it doesn't look like it's going to fit. It says four and a half. Let me measure it. Oh, should be four and a half by seven. It's actually cut to five by seven and a half. It's only gonna come up a half inch here, um, which means um, we're gonna to wanna to put a decorative strip down here before we lay this on top. So let me turn this down and I'm gonna find the decorative strip that goes here. I'll be right back. Okay, I decided to repeat the pattern that I have here on the outside edges and that's what's gonna go here. Let's get that in and then we can add our, our final element. And then I'm just gonna go through the the function of the page again. Now remember, you're gonna build this one more time, but it's gonna be a mirror image. Okay. Okay, now this is the flap extension that I wanna add, and it is four and a half by seven and a half, four and a half by seven and a half. And um, I'm gonna do some decorative corners on that with my um, stub. So that needs to be done before we install it. And I'll likely carry that theme throughout on the inserts. Okay, so now it's gonna get installed right here at the half inch mark. And as you can see, it's clear of the hinge area. I'm just making sure I'm clear and that it looks straight. It does. And it, this looks crooked, but that's the pattern, the pattern drifts. And I, I think I mentioned that on one of my other pages. Okay, so when everything is closed, it's gonna look like this. And I'm still thinking about maybe putting a pocket over here. I'm not sure. This opens, got two inserts. Close this, it opens this way. Got two inserts and this opens and then you pick this flap up and it extends. And then we also have an insert here. Okay, lots and lots of pockets and stash spots. So that is it for this page. And again, while you're cutting this page out, you can cut um, twice as many because you're gonna make this page one more time. And this closes. So it looks like we're gonna need a fastener here and a fastener here. 
and that'll hold everything closed. To think a little bit about the top one because of the location of the pockets. There we go. And then here. <sighs> I have to think about that. I probably should have put the decorative paper down before I added these pockets. But I'll just run a I'll figure something out. <laughs> I hadn't really thought about um, having that decorative strip there. I'll probably run a strip that goes across and if that's the case, if I do color blocking here, um, I don't want to put my magnet there. So I'm going to opt to place it on top of one of the pockets. So there's just a ton of photo space. And because I off-centered this, these panels are bigger, so they're going to be suitable for um, uh, photographs if you want to place photographs here. For example, uh, this is this is four inches. So if you took a, a three and a half by three and a half, you could feature a photo here. Okay. And then lots of tuck spots for journaling or additional small photos. I'm still thinking about this one spot here about whether or not I'm gonna add a pocket, but for now that's it. And um, I'm gonna get my designer papers together and as I start to lay things in, if I feel like it needs to be broken up and not just a solid piece here, I may add yet one more pocket, we'll see. Okay, be back soon you guys. Hey everyone, Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page five, page five. Okay, we're gonna start by adding two half inch strips to the left and right hand side of page five. I was just making sure they were the same width, and they are. And this is a mirror image of page four. This is from the 12 by 12 patterns and solids. So we've got some flaps that we're going to install, and let's see, the first is, I gotta look at my reference, sorry. Okay, these go together, so here we go, oh, 5 by 8. So we're going to have a 5 by 8 and it's going to get installed right here. So I'm going to turn this sideways. So again, this is 5 by 8 and you're going to score a half inch on the 5 inch side and it's going over on the left hand side. Thank you. 
Okay. The left hand side. On the right hand side, we have a five and a half by eight. Five and a half by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the five and a half inch side. It's gonna go right over here on the right hand side. this way. Okay, on the five and a half inch side, um, I've marked one inch from the edge of the flap in, and that's where we're going to install the third flap. The third flap is nine by eight. Nine by eight, you're going to score a half inch and five inch. <clears throat> sure I'm doing this right. This goes this way. Mm, that's not right. Goes this way. Okay, so we're going to apply this score line to that one inch mark. Okay, so it's gonna lay down like this, fold over. So I'm gonna turn it so I can see my score lines. I'm a little bit jumbled because this is the mirror image of page four. And I still have page four in my mind, so I feel like I'm putting everything in upside down. But we're not, we're not. Okay, that's it. So they, those are the main flaps, okay? Now we're gonna add a bunch of pockets. <clears throat> So first we're going to add two pockets right here. These are very small pockets. These are four and three quarters across by two and three quarters tall. Four and three quarters by two and three quarters. You're going to uh, lay it in your scoreboard at four and three quarters, score a half inch and four and a quarter. It's going to get installed here and here. So you're going to do that two times. And all this is in the cut list, but I highly recommend watching the video first before you cut through anything. Um, just to so that you're confident. <clears throat> it's hard to see all this black on black as I start to add the designer paper. It will get a little easier, but... That's why I recommend that you, you really watch the video before you start the build. Okay, now since we have two pockets, we of course need two inserts. These inserts are three and a half by four and a quarter, three and a half by four and a quarter, and you'll need two. Okay, that's done. Now the next thing we're gonna do is open this up. And then on on this flap, we're going to have an extension. And that extension is four and a half by seven and a half, and it's going to get installed right here, right on this extension. I'm going to add decorative stub edges, corners.
And before I install it, I'm gonna put a green strip of designer paper here. So hold on just a second. Okay, I trimmed out my decorative strip and it's basically pulling that pattern back in that's already on the outside edges. Let's get it inked and laid in. Then we'll add our extension. There it is. Now we're gonna um, add this, and this is gonna come in about a half inch. And so what we wanna make sure is that it doesn't come into this score line here. Okay. So I'm gonna put a half inch of glue on here. I'm just going to eyeball. It's going to go center, top to bottom, about a half inch. So on this side, is that right? Yes. On this side, we're gonna add a pocket. So this is the simple single, single flap side. We're gonna add a pocket. That pocket is four and a half. Is that right? Four and a half. Yes, by nine, four and a half by nine. And it's gonna go flush just like this. So four and a half by nine, you're gonna score half inch and eight and a half, rotate it 90 degrees, score another half inch, then you're gonna have your pocket. Now, we have two pocket inserts for this, and these inserts are three and a quarter by four and three quarters. I'm sorry, three and a half, three and a half by four and three quarters. Three and a half by four and three quarters, you need two of those. They're gonna go here and here, and to keep them from floating around, I'm gonna tack down the center with some glue. So I'm just gonna put a spot of, spot of glue in here. I like glue better because tape can sometimes um, get sticky and your in whatever's in your pocket can sometimes get stuck to it. I'm just gonna hold that for a second and we'll add our inserts. Again, that's three and a half by four and three quarter. Okay, and that little tack here, that tack spot, is what's gonna keep these from shifting up and down. Okay, let's close like this. And I think there's something else still. We still have, <sighs> did we, oh, we still have one more pocket. Yeah, here it is. Two more pockets, actually. On the very top, we're gonna have a pocket. This is five. Five inches across by five and a half inches tall. Five by five and a half. If you place it in your trimmer, I mean your scoreboard, five inches across the top, score a half inch and four and a half. 
rotate it 90 degrees and score half inch. Okay, just gonna go flush edge to edge on this part of the flap. Our last pocket goes on the very inside right here. And it's actually gonna go flush with this edge. And then we still have two pocket inserts. Actually, we'll come back. Um, this is the three and a half by seven and a half goes in here. Three and a half by seven and a half. Okay, this pocket is four by nine, four by nine. Place it in the scoreboard with nine inches across the top, score it half inch and eight and a half, rotate 90 degrees, score half inch. Here's your flap extension. It's going right here on the flap, not the extension part, just the flap. Okay. And lastly, we have an insert for that pocket, and that insert is four and a half by seven and a half. Four and a half by seven and a half. So this will close, this closes this way, and this closes down like this. So let's add some magnets, okay? So the first thing we want to do is secure this. Now we're going to add some magnets here. this way got your two inserts then it opens to the left this opens to the right with two inserts then the whole flap gets picked up and then we have another insert here okay lovely yay that's page five thanks everybody Okay, I pulled in page four to look at it with page five and I realized I built these exactly the same, which is not what I intended to do. I wanted a mirror image. So the good news is that's still achievable and there's really only one small change that needs to be made. First, take page five and completely turn it around. The only thing that needs to be removed and, and replaced is this pocket. It needs to go from that location to this location. Otherwise, everything else is going to function um, exactly opposite of page four. Okay, so the pocket needs to be rotated around and then placed here. So hopefully I caught you guys before you put your pocket on. Um, if not, you're going to need some undo to, to replace it. That's the only thing that has to change to make this a, a mirror image. And here's why I wanted it to be a mirror image. When you open this and you open this, that's lovely, 
but then this last piece opens really, really wide, so I want it to open away from the spine. So it was designed to be mirror images, so they're pulling away from the spine. Again, the only thing you have to fix is that very top pocket. So if you build them exactly the same, wait to install the top pocket, make that a mirror of page four, and install your pocket and you're all set. So hopefully I caught you guys before you got your pocket installed. And if not, hopefully you've got some undo on hand. So I'll go ahead and add this down here where it belongs. And then we will be done with page four and five. And I still have a pocket insert here. Okay, now we're, now we're back to being finished. Sorry about the confusion, you guys. Ah, this was a tough page. This is a tough album in general. So, okay, thanks a lot, everybody, for uh, your patience. And next time we sit down together, um, we are going to uh, start adding our decorative paper. And lots of it. Tune in soon.